Sunsanzi, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And let's get the show back on the road. We've got someone special here this morning. And of course, we are focusing on all things boxing and with the release of the latest film, Beautiful Disaster, which we will find out more about in just a bit. But with us in studio right now this morning, we've got local boxer Ishmael, the King K, uh, I believe, Kadri. Yeah. And uh, it's, a, it's a new name. The man's doing new things. He's got a fresh victory under his belt via unanimous decision against Lucky Hobiani. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ishmael. Ishmael in the building! Yeah, 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 yeah! A future superstar. For Actually, sure. you're already a superstar, man. That was incredible. But let's get straight into your journey. How are you doing, bro? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's amazing to be to be sitting here. I used to grow up watching uh, Express. No so ways, man. So, like, a, almost so. like a weird uh, full 360 moment yeah, from watching to, to being the center 100%. of attention. You're making people proud, man. But let's talk about this journey of yours. How did you even get into boxing? How did it all start? Where did the journey begin? I started about nine years ago uh, when my parents were going through a divorce. Okay. I had a lot of anger at that age, yeah, 14 years imagine. old, you, uh, going into the teens. Um, and I had a lot of built up anger. And I decided, let me put this anger towards something positive. And, and at that time, I told myself, I'm going to be a pro boxer. People didn't believe in me. I was laughed at. I used to cry sometimes when people yeah. laughed at me. Nobody believed. No one believed in you, yeah. Um, and I just said, I'm going to make this happen. And, and, yeah, and yeah, I am. Well done, man. Well done for fighting. Well done for finding a space to express that because certain people turn to very other situations in order to express that anger. You chose what I think is a very, uh, a very good route, uh, to say the least. Man. Alhamdulillah, that, that was the route I take a positive. Ah, beautiful, positive man. Route. Beautiful stuff. Now, on top of this, you're just coming from this fresh victory. How was that, man? A unanimous decision <laughs> against uh, Obiane. Uh, not an easy contender to go up against, but what was the match like for you? And how did you feel walking into it? Did you think you'd always take this title? Were you confident? 100%. You have to be confident going in there. You must never have any doubt about yourself. Yeah. Um, I was, the training camp was good with uh, my coach, Steve Newton and Colin Nathan. Yeah. Uh, everything was going according to plan. Um, I've got the best sparring in the world. I sparred the world champion, so I'm very grateful for that. And... Uh, so that gives you that mental edge going into the fight. So yeah, I, I saw it happening exactly the way it And, and yeah. speaking with G off camera now, mentioning these coaches that you do have, I mean, you're working with the best, dude. And clearly this is why you're getting these results. And I feel like this is only the beginning. It but is. Maybe we can talk about boxing just in general within our country right now. What's the state of boxing like, especially for someone trying to get into the sport? Mm. Is it a tough sort of industry to break into? Uh, is it really like a luck of the draw? Mm. Or what would your perspective be on it? It's, it's a lot of hard work yeah. and, and discipline. Uh, the state of the sport, we're getting there. We get, it, boxing was, was dead for a while, but we, it's slowly reviving, especially with box, uh, Boxing Five for Emotions, reviving things. They really bring something very fresh to the sport. And um, for someone who would like to start boxing, it's, it's, it's possible for anyone. I, I always say anyone can do it. But not everyone like really wants to do it because yeah, it's a yeah. really, really tough. You gotta really want it, you gotta have a strong why and a strong reason to, to push through all the, the black eyes yeah. that you go through in training, to say the least. Now, dude, maybe right now you might not realize this, but you literally have become an inspiration. Mm. If you didn't know it by now, you are. You're sitting here live in front of Mzanzi. There are kids coming from similar backgrounds, possibly even worse than yours, mm. that are seeing this as an opportunity to get out of the yeah. hole, to find a way to express themselves. You now pretty much like, you, you, you're pretty much like a champion, man. <laughs> you can come here for a win. What would yeah. your advice be? Because you're pretty much someone that can relate to so many youth out there. What would yeah. your advice be to them when it comes to getting into the sport, getting into this yeah. game, and kind of just pushing beyond the obstacles? Mm. Well, in general, I would say I promised myself at 14, like I said, yeah. I would be an inspiration to the youth, and, and I'm going to do that now. So. Just because others don't believe it doesn't mean you can't achieve it. This is what I believe. You can do it if you believe you can. It doesn't matter in, whoever it is. If, they, if, if you believe you can, you can. So put your mind to something and, and just work extra hard to it, and you will achieve it. I love that. Yeah. And if you want some proof, then yeah, yeah. it is right here. There's exactly. proof in the pudding. 100%. Man, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you for, you for what me. you're doing. Thank you for continually using this gift that you've been developed, uh, well, sorry, that you uh, have been given and that you are developing. And uh, I'm excited to work yeah. with you later. Apparently, we're going to be uh, throwing it down. We've got his coach in the building. So uh, yeah. Shmuel and I are going to go through a little workout, thank and you. I'll be finding out more about you, where you're going to next. Good but, uh, bro, just uh, keep pushing, man. We'll Thank see you in just a bit. So Zanzi, don't go anywhere. Let's go feel those bellies and get some energy before we break it down. <laughs>